Capricorns, those of you that have opted or already enrolled yourself into some type of competition or are thinking, considering it, it's looking like if you're leaning towards doing it, you just need to do it here. The magician vibes, the ace of wands, the six of wands, some of you finding a lot of success on the internet could be with a business, selling new products, doing certain things. Um, there's a message here to do the thing. To have the strength and the courage to really push yourself out there and do something that is outside of your comfort zone. So not just the strength card here, but the wheel of fortune, the chariot. And for some of you, it having to do with what you do for work, your career, or maybe even starting a business. Shout out to those of you that work in the automotive industry family. What is this thing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, family. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know when you're watching, where you're watching from. Shout out to everybody in Lansing, Michigan, and Detroit, especially family. Money making opportunities here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, moving towards something, working. Some of some of you having to travel for this opportunity, so not just with the Chariot, but the Wheel of Fortune. But luck, even though, you know, we don't believe in luck over either you did the things or you didn't. Turning in somebody's favor, closing out some cycles here, new beginnings, but having the strength and the courage to do whatever this thing is. And we see the competition vibes here with the six of wands, but getting recognition. The page of swords to me is the internet, but starting something new, the ace of wands, again, something new and exciting, the magician. Everything being on the table here, laid all out. You having everything that you need to be successful. But I feel like it's going to require you to go through this period of isolation and be very quiet and focused. So not just this 10 of Pentacles, but this 10 of air. And why I say that is we haven't seen it yet in this reading, though I can't say that it will come out. But we have seen heavy nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit vibes every single reading on this channel for at least the last two months. So those of you with heavy Virgo in your charts, the Virgo cross watchers, hello, hello to you. But that perfecting your craft, separating yourself maybe from friends and family, maybe working overtime, working a couple of jobs in order to finance an opportunity. But it does speak to doing something in silence, moving in silence about something, keeping something to yourself here. The high priestess vibes, big Pisces, cancer as well. Being quiet about these opportunities that are coming your way. For some of you, it may be a relationship with this ace of cups and this high priestess, but I really get it's a lucrative opportunity, something that you just want to keep quiet, don't want the competition, knowing what it is that you're doing, or maybe even, you know, some of y'all be entertaining these weird folks around you that are in silent competitions with you. I need to just figure out how to move in silence. Everybody does need to know what you got going on. I'm going to clarify this little opportunity here, little big opportunity. Page of Wands in reverse. Boom. The Two of Cups. And the World. Okay. Fixed signs. Two of Cups. Water. And that Page of Wands, little fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I almost feel like some of you have a hesitation about taking on this opportunity. Even though it's something that you want. Out of a fear of, I want to say whether or not you can afford something or how it will affect other things, the domino effect with the world. Or maybe you should put something on hold, wait till next year, even with the world. There's this hesitation about accepting this offer and or this opportunity. What's with this page of wands? Cool. Big Gemini vibes. But some of you very afraid of taking this opportunity and, and feeling like looking, feeling like you look like a fool or feeling like you'll look like an amateur or things will not work out in the way that they're supposed to. But some of you just need to jump so that you can get your feet wet here. And heavy on the presentation being a thing, how you look, having the knowledge, making sure that you sound like you know what you're doing. 
But the energy is to just do something whether you're ready or not. And in practicing and in doing the thing, whatever it is, getting your speech down, you know, writing, writing whatever it is. Maybe it's maybe some of you are writers, writing music, poetry, books, whatever it is. Maybe it has to do with public speaking. Again, the internet, going live or whatever it is, because Lord knows I hate, I hate going live. That's why I don't do it very often. I'd much prefer to premiere and interact in that way. But um getting things in order. I, I really feel like the fear is that you won't like you won't sound like an expert in whatever it is that you're doing here. Like the fear of looking like a fool or an amateur. Again, the page of wands looking like you're new or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. And then we see this high priestess heavily. And this need to trust in yourself. And that if you do the work, again, the king of swords here, the fool, as long as you're taking action, doing the work, studying, obtaining the knowledge, you will have everything that you need, even though you can't see this. Okay? You will have everything that you need to make the situation work. And with the little Mercedes emblems in the background, there's somebody who's, you know, moving companies. And I feel like sales, shout out to the car salespeople, the real estate agents as well. Now, this two of cups, as far as this opportunity goes, there's a lot of opportunity for exposure here. So not just you having fun doing this thing, as we can see from the fool, this king of swords. I mean, it's nice that you like this thing enough to want to be an expert, right? And even with this ace of wands, but an opportunity for a lot of exposure to partner up with someone, to really put yourself out there. But not only that, to not only show others what you're doing, but yourself. The Sagittarius cuspers tap in with the sun, the Sag vibes. The two showing up, the two of water, the two of wands here. The high priestess showing up twice, twos. Opportunities to travel. Again, the distancing oneself. Why do I almost feel like somebody's going to have to learn other languages with the two of wands or brush up on a language that they used to know? There's the opportunities to travel, the opportunities for new commitments and contracts to come in are here, the Libra vibes, but also getting things legally in order to take on this opportunity. Ooh. Some of you are worried about finances and being able to accept this thing. Like you won't have enough money or that something will be too expensive. Or that the split will not be where, where you need it to be. Queen of Swords. There's a need to, I feel like, negotiate one's contract. But there's a fear of, even, I feel like, asking for what it is that you need financially. And really, there's a need to either ask, because closed mouths don't get fed, or make things happen for yourself. And also, this message should really walk in faith. We see Joan of Arc here with this Queen of Swords. And he's tying up these loose ends or putting the situation on hold. Mm, the Eight of Swords. What is this being stuck though? Is it the financial thing? Or is it me having too many ideas going on? Has the fear of traveling with the eight of swords this knight of swords here the fear of traveling of being away heavy on the fear of being away having to do having to be in and out here some of you i feel like there's a relationship that's on your mind worried about worrying about that how that will fare if you have to travel and from the success of this opportunity Swords. Lots of air. This strength card here. Mm -hmm. And the eight showing up. Shout out to the Capricorns that have an eight in their birthday or born in the year 88. 
Some of you are afraid that a relationship may not last and heavy on the relationship may not last through the traveling or the distance or the lack of communication if this opportunity goes well. Let me see the Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, that Empress. Mm. This may be a journey where you have to go it alone or you figure out who's with you and who's not. Another eight here, the Eight of Wands. Boop. The King, right, the King of Wands here. You may be having to deal with a situation where it's not so much loose ends as much as somebody trying to hold you back. And I almost get with this King of Wands, somebody's insecurities holding you back or them feeding into your insecurities. Ooh. Again, they need to distance yourself or not tell somebody something. Now I'm curious what it is that you do, this competition thing. And you see the Queen of Cups here and this somebody putting, again, their blood, sweat, and tears and all their money into something, being extremely invested in this opportunity. The Seven of Pentacles, the Four, and this Queen of Cups. Going all in. Going all in. So the world, the wheel of fortune, and the emperor. And again, you having all the tools to be successful, right? Having the mind and the courage to put things in motion, to start this new thing, to travel, to, you know, say what you need to... Say, do what you need to do to push this product or push this message. We see the Tower, the Ace of Cups, and the Lovers. Scorpio, Aries, Gemini here, and Opportunities. Whatever this is for you, this competition or this opportunity where you're, you know, putting yourself out there, the consequences and or the payout is great. Notice how your cup runneth over not once but twice here with this Ace of Cups, that high priestess twice. You know in your gut, if you take this opportunity, take this chance on yourself, Six of Wands and the Lovers, you're going to be successful. It gives the vibes that you've already had some type of success. And not only that, again, your passion for this thing being a driving factor. This Ace of Wands, and the magician. Having all the tools necessary and the abilities to make it happen. This almost gives me the vibes with the lovers here and the magician in the Garden of Eden having all the tools necessary. This is a gift that you have naturally. So while you may be perfecting this thing, it's something that's coming to you naturally. You're picking it up very quickly. You're understanding it very quickly. The four, mm -hmm. four swords here, being very quiet, healing. Maybe it, it even has to do with just that. Healing folks, helping folks. and the Hierophant. Let's talk about healing. Some of y'all going back to church, bringing people into the church or on your own spiritual journey, guiding people through that, whatever that may be. Or maybe it's sharing your testimony, family. We see this five of cups in the, in the Hierophant, fives, numbers of change. But your gut instinct is telling you that you have what it takes to enter this thing, to do this thing, to show off your skills and or abilities and find a lot of success in this. Or sharing your story, testimony, is going to touch a lot of people. But whatever this thing is that you're struggling with is, is going to be successful. Hold on a second. I need to turn off my alarm. Hold on. Okay. It's 8 a.m. here in the capital city. All right. This opportunity is going to be successful. It's just a matter of whether or not you're willing to put yourself out there. And I feel like while some of you may be getting a pull to stay in place, 
there's a lot of you getting a push to show off the skill and or this ability or tell your story here with the hair font. Mm. Ace of Pentacles, excuse me, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you that there's an opportunity for somebody to invest in your story in this new idea, this new opportunity, and allow you to build from the ground up. Or there's an opportunity to start slow. Again, getting on the internet, publishing a book yourself, finding it, you know. But as long as you choose to put forth the effort, we see success. Queen of Pentacles, the page again, page of swords. I feel like I feel strong that somebody's wanting to start a blog or a YouTube channel, something with the internet, selling a product, even if it's themselves and or a book, a story, and it getting a lot of success. And there's this message to do it yourself, or you know, go through a small person, team up with a. I feel like staying independent and small, and waiting for a situation to grow. What else for this Page of Swords? That Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. There's a message to, oh, you can't see it. There's a message to start small or stay independent and wait for opportunities to come in. If you're nervous, can you see that? No, a little bit. Because you won't want to be legally tied into something and having to produce instead of being able to take a big opportunity that you want. Mm -hmm. Also a message here to maybe get a second set of eyes on any legal paperwork that is necessary so that you don't get burned. Mm. The seven of wands in the reverse falling onto the floor. Again, more confirmation of not wanting to be locked into a certain situation, wanting to wait and see before you totally commit because you will because you will want the freedom to do what you want to do with with your craft, with your art. I almost get with this eight of pentacles, whatever it is that you're working on. I need to stay independent, be by yourself. And to not lock yourself into something where you're afraid that you won't be able to walk out of it. So don't sign anything you don't want to sign. The Ten of Wands, which received with the Three and the Seven, and now here. This opportunity bringing a lot of traveling, needing to recognize the red flags, but also having the ability to pick up and just go and or leave a situation. I feel like it's very important to you. You see the moon here in the fork. Yeah. There's a clear energy of somebody not wanting to be tied into a bad deal. Don't sign anything. Stay independent. Stay small until the right opportunity comes. Capricorns, that's all I have for you right now. Please let me know what the situation is, what resonated for you. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. Always big shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. And Capricorns, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.